Well, hello guys, welcome back. So I seem to be going through something serious. This this is probably why Loki's look nervous. Um, I did want to tell you guys before, because every time I tell you guys about a problem, it's like the universe is like, yeah, here's someone else who's going through the same thing. But every so often, Odin or someone claiming to be Odin likes to rattle my cage and see if they can have the worst of humanity fall out. I didn't tell you, but in that collection of books I got on the same day that that thing popped up um, about World War II Germany, um, one of the books was named Stormfront, which has nothing to do with the um, um, website. It's just an unfortunate title. And it, I, I looked it up. I was like, wait, what? And it's just, it's a detective thing. But I've definitely been getting pushes from either the old man or something presenting as the old man, because let's be careful here. And yesterday, he appeared and he looked furious and he gave me the OK symbol. And I looked at Loki because as I've been very, very slowly building a Odin board again, it's been very time consuming because if you've ever been on Pinterest, you know, chances are, you know, hit a pin, find a Nazi. And I got, mm hmm And I don't know if this is Odin that's appearing and doing this. I don't know if it's a test or what it is. I, I had got that book he'd got me to get back again. Um, by Diana. And, you know, there's a chapter in there about some of the less savory things Odin has done. And I'm being very cautious, but, you know, as we've been doing things together, I said, okay, old man, I'd like to see, is this a test? Or is this you saying this is this is something you would want? And I, I said, are, are you approaching me as a powerful backer, or are you approaching me to test me? Tell me which one it is. And, you know, um, Odin is a complex deity. He, off he obviously is a deity of war, so if he could stir things up and stir strife up, that would be right down his alley. That said, I'm being extremely cautious because, as she says in the book, this, whatever this is appearing as Odin doesn't feel like he likes me in the least. Because I'm not doing his good work, which would not be something you guys would approve of. But I, I'm telling you about it, and I'm keeping it real. And I usually don't mention it, because then that's when the passive viewers come out of the woodwork, and they're like, oh, it is terrible and evil. But you do have to watch your back with the old man. And I don't know if this is the old man, so I don't want to tarnish his reputation either. Oh, maybe that's a tear of me. I don't know. But um, we've been cautious. And I've been getting an uptick in interest from Freya and Freyer, so I don't know if it's just... I've worked long enough with the old man that because he can't... He's tried this for years, whatever this thing is, if this is Odin, or this is just something that masquerades as Odin. Whatever it is, it's appeared for years and tried to pull me back to the view my father would have had. And... um it's it's kind of like now it feels like Freya and Freya are stepping up and they're like, no, that's enough of that. Come over and serve the Vanir and, you know, come over and do stuff. Luckily, I have alt active altars to them. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The one thing I can tell you in the years of working from with Odin, he can go everything from Oski, which I see as the one that, you know, visits or the Yule Father. I kind of see them as a little bit the same. We're kind and sweet and gentle to whatever the hell this is, if this is Odin. And I looked at Loki, and Loki just, he, he looks frightened, and I said, one, you know, I didn't make any deals with him. I just seeing where the hell this is going, because I said, he's got my interest on. I said, it, this, I would not recognize this as Odin. I would not recognize this as Odin, because this is pure hate. This is not anything that, to be sure, wants my best interest. It just wants a platform. It wants a platform for its hatred of certain people and everything else. And I've been looking at it very, very cautiously. It's presenting as Odin, but I said, I think the old man checked out a while ago, lost his interest, which he does. And I said, I don't know what this is, but I don't think it's Odin. I said, that said... Whatever it is, if it's Odin, if it would be a horrible version of Odin, 
I said he can tip his hand. He can either show me if this is a test or if this is an offer for um, patronage. But to be sure, I'm, I'm not interested in that kind of patronage, but I said, I want to see what it is. I said, okay, I'll bite. You know, which is this? Are you testing me to see what this is? But, you know, the tests have come, you know, over the last year or so more frequently of come this way, come this way. And, you know, I, I look to Freya and Freya and they, they seem genuinely upset and they seem genuinely, no, why do you think we've been doing rituals with you and cooking with you? And something was blocking, actively blocking International House of Awesome and very few have managed to get through. Asmodeus will squiggle through for an instant and then he's pushed back. So there's obviously like a presence in the house pushing everything else back, trying to get its way. And it does not know that Germans are made of pure stubbornness and spite is what we are. And I'm like, one second, guys, these damn allergies. I am sorry. Sorry about that. And if he's looking for a fight, he's found it. But I said, you know, this is, this is odd. If this is the repayment for the wolf, this is not a repayment I was looking for. I said, this is, you never know if it's Odin playing a head game with you. Or it's a less savory aspect of Odin, or it's something masquerading as Odin. I really couldn't tell you, but I know whatever it is, it feels dangerous. And it definitely, the offer that's on the table feels like, give up all your principles and come work with me. And I looked at Loki, and Loki just looks terrified. And... Uh, Loki's sending me imagery of exactly what this would be, and I said, yeah, I'm not that kind of German. Um, and I said, I, I wouldn't do that to people. Why would I? If people do something to me, then fine, yeah, I'll act against them. But what did they ever do to me? Leave them alone. So, you know, um, I said, this is, this is definitely Odin toying. Either if it is Odin, it's Odin toying with me and seeing what I'll do. Or it's Odin seeing what he can bring out of me. Because remember, my father was the biggest racist in the world. And, you know, there are sometimes I'm always going to hear my father's voice in my head. So I said, it could just, I don't know if it's Odin trying to help or it's Odin trying to harm. Is Odin trying to help by leading me down a dark path? Is he trying to help by exposing that dark path? What's he doing? Or is this something masquerading as Odin? So we're being very careful, but the fact that Loki looks absolutely terrified, I said, I don't plan to have anything to do with this, but I want him to, to tip his hand. And I said, if that Stormfront book was something from him, and if that Nazi Germany thing that popped up was something from him, and if this other stuff is something from something that's either less savory you know, showing itself as Odin, presenting as Odin, or this is actually something Odin has in him. Um, I said, I want him to tip his hand. I said, once and for all, I want him to tip his hand, state what he wants. And I, I said, I'm getting tired of this. But good news is Frey and Frey are definitely ready to step up. The rest of the gods are like, it feels like they're kind of a bit frightened and alarmed. But I'm like, no, I'm not going to run and I'm not going to be afraid. if this whatever this entity is wants to put an offer on the table fine go ahead they can put all the offers on the table they want i said but i wouldn't trust an offer from this entity to be sure someone this filled with hate is not looking to help people to be sure there are plenty if you go over the heathen reread it there are plenty of people who got into hate groups that they didn't get that promised land they were promised. They were promised, you join this hate group, you'll get everything you ever wanted, you'll be rich, you'll be powerful, you will rule the world as is your right, which is not the, the actual case, but that's what people promise you to get you into hate groups. You join our group, you'll get everything you ever wanted. It's kind of how those law of attraction cults work. It's actually the same exact thing. It's you give into this and you jump into this vortex and we will take care of you. And I said, I wouldn't trust a sponsor like this. I said, I wouldn't trust a sponsor like this for one nanosecond. I said, this would be the first sponsor to throw you into the fray. And I said, if this is how the old man is courting me, I said, I don't appreciate it. But I said, I don't know that I would call this Odin. I don't know what the hell this is, but I don't like it. But it's welcome to put an offer on the table because I can't turn down an offer until I've been given it. 
But I think the offer I'm getting is if you make this channel about hate, I'll be your sponsor. If you make this channel about wrongdoing, I'll be your sponsor. If you turn against women and you turn against minorities and you turn against your back on everything like that and you come over to me, I'll be your sponsor. I'm like, yeah, as a female, I'm going to turn against women. That makes a lot of sense. It doesn't even make any sense. Are you listening to yourself? But I'm waiting to see if an offer is going to be put on the table. Or this is a test. And again, just to be clear, guys, people will debate back and forth. Is this a legitimate path of Odin? Is this something that appears and masquerades as Odin? Odin is forever going to be connected to Nazi Germany. Just put her collar. It's on the table. Whether you think he helped them or not is something you have to settle in your own mind. I can't do that for you. Some people will say, no, of course not. Oh, the, you know, the old father is good. And then, you know, you, you're up at 2 a.m. thinking, well, well, that's pretty bad in the lore. And there was a couple bad incidents. And Vikings weren't exactly peaceful. But you have to make your own peace with some of the stuff the old man's done. And you have to make your own peace with World War II. I can't do it for you. So, you know, I'm not going to monetize this one. They get very, very nervous when we mention stuff like that. But I figured I would help you guys know and um, let you guys know. And I, I bring it up because um, every so often there's one person that comes and they downvote everything. And the original video was, you know, that negativity is actually making the channel stronger. That's why I don't watch people I don't like. For every second you watch, you help them. You add to their their watch time for every down vote you give them you make them stronger that's how youtube works you could be the most hated villain on youtube and you'd actually be the wealthiest person on youtube that's just how it works um the more hatred you get is the more interaction we're an entertainment platform they don't care if we're loved and hated and it really felt like odin is coming forward or whatever is masquerading as odin is coming forward to take advantage of that. Like, you already have a start down that path. Why not become a true villain? And, you know, um, I just kind of side-eyed him, but, you know, it's kind of a thing where it is a temptation, you know, in YouTube's very frank with us. If we can get more hatred and it's easier for us to get hatred and views because we're obnoxious or we're cruel or something, go ahead, do it. We're entertainers. That's That's all YouTube thinks we're here for. So I, I figured I'd keep it real with you guys and let you know that offer's on the table. And the other gods have just had huge eyes. And it feels like there's a block or a force around this house. And it feels like whatever it is, it wants to lay an offer on the table. And I told Loki, I said, he and Freya and Freya better get together and make a counter offer. That, that way I will have a totally, you know, you can turn down any offer. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, but it's definitely an offer. That's, that's, you know, I think is going to be laid on the table. Pretty sure what, I know what it means, but I figured I would talk to you guys and you guys can certainly give feedback. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.